Many cities and organizations now sponsor triathlons or mini triathlons which draw hundreds, sometimes thousands of participants. It's feasible now to use live streaming coverage to put the event online so the families, extended families and friends of these participants can watch from any place at any time worldwide. There are carrier services on the internet that will take your live video feed and put it on a website for anyone to view. You likely already have the basic components, a camera or camcorder and a laptop. You only need to add carrier data services and video coverage software to your laptop. Any place in the world you can typically find multiple data services from carriers. In the US you have AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, Wi-Fi, and already in some places LTE, Clears, WiMAX, and more. The live streaming coverage software is available from our company, Kencast, and many others. The data services usually come in the form of a USB stick with software. You can put the sticks in the USB ports of your laptop or more conveniently, use a small cable and box to attach the sticks to the laptop. It looks something like this. I'm using four USB sticks for this broadcast. You can handle the camera manually and move about with a laptop in a backpack or hip bag. Or you can use a tripod. In either case, you may also want to consider a small platform or table when broadcasting a triathlon. This is especially useful when you are in a crowd of spectators, for example, near the start or finish lines. The table raises the camera above the people milling about in front of you. To cover a triathlon, you may need more than one camera person so equipped. It is important to do some homework before the event. You need to first identify the best locations from which to provide camera coverage. You want to have coverage at the start of the event, at the swim. Most of the swims are circular, so the athletes emerge where they entered the water. When you cover the bike segment, a good spot is often on the top of a hill with a clear view down to the approaching riders. Since this may be at a location along the route, you usually must rely on a battery with enough life to last, or bring along a backup battery to swap out when necessary, or arrange a power cord connection to a business or residence along the route. If you have only two cameras covering the race, the one that was used to cover the swim at the start can be moved into a location to cover the third and final segment, the run, during the bike coverage. It is usually best to cover the run at the finish line. Since this is where the largest crowds will congregate, remember to shoot from your table. Using just one camera enables you to go directly from the event with your live video feed to a hosted website for people to watch over the internet. Using multiple cameras and switching between multiple cameras is more complex and a topic we will cover in a separate video. Well before the race day, you should take your camera and laptop setup to your target locations and test the network coverage you wish to use and the bandwidth you can count on. Wireless data network coverage is spotty and depends on the location of the serving tower and the other users on the shared networks. For these reasons, it is also best to plan to bond together two or more wireless IP networks. Most live video streaming software can aggregate up to five to ten IP networks. With multiple networks, you get redundancy and better resolution and quality. Give it a try and enjoy. I am Bill Steele from KenCast at KenCast.com.